Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021 for the sign of Leo. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Leo please? Angels, Spirits, Guide, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. 1st to the 7th of February 2021, what is the overarching message? Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands, Leo. Message for Leo, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay, so we have Grounding, Go Deep, Explore Your Roots. Okay. And angels, message for Leo, please. Message for Leo. We have ask for help from others. Okay. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angel spirits guides, message for Leo, please. 1st to the 7th of February 2021. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups, but it's in your challenge position. Page of Cups is Advice from Spirit. And the Six of Wands, which is Leo Energy, is your outcome. Let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Leo. Thank you message for leo what do we have for leo thank you can we clarify these cards on the table first to the 7th of february 2021 thank you we have the hermit page of cups we have the empress and the six of wands we have the ten of cups here We have two of wands here, Leo. It feels quite similar, uh, not a similar card to Aries, but it feels a little bit similar to the Aries reading, which is not unusual because, you know, signs of the same element can have similar energies. Something is definitely getting you down here. We have the Ten of Wands, which is a card of burdens, the burdens. And it feels, I mean, this person is, is, you know, kneeling on the floor. The burdens are becoming crippling to the point where it's stunting progress, moving forward. So it feels for some of you, I mean, there is a Ten as well. So when the Ten of Wands appears, there is an opportunity to release the burdens. But it can be a card of extra responsibility, hard work, um, but it is a completion, the burdens can be over. You know, there is an opportunity to release from some burdens now, to overcome something that is burdening, burdening you in a situation. And we have grounding, go deep, explore your roots. I mean, this is about grounding yourself, it's earth energy. Earth energy is all about stability, security, safety, focus, patience, um, practical skills, knowledge, experience. So it feels for some of you, I mean, it, it's also about finding your foundation, finding that which makes you feel stable, secure, solid. Um, you know, rem remember roots, it feels very much to do with who you are, what you stand for. You know, how do I get through this? How do I come back to who I am? You know, I, I need to deal with this burden, this challenge here. We have ask for help from others. So it feels for some of you, other people are around to support you, help you, guide you. Um, yeah. I'm definitely getting that energy here. 
someone is, is it feels like someone is on hand to help. Interesting that I'm getting that. Someone is on hand to help. I'm going to clarify this hermit. Let's clarify this hermit, please, for Leo. Yeah, I, I knew it. it if he, I mean, the Queen of Cups, I mean, she's very motherly. So you might actually be, it could be dealing with a mother. Um, you know, I mean, it can be a female who's caring, compassionate, who's supportive. I'm definitely getting this energy here, Leo, of somebody is on hand to help you. I mean, the court cards can be people. And I definitely felt this energy of somebody who is supportive, caring, compassionate, a good listener, is on hand to give you support. I mean, the Hermit card is a card of raising your vibration from within, you know, healing, um, coming back to who you are, you know, connecting with your light. And it definitely feels this Queen of Cups, male or female energy, like I said, is helping you do just that, talking it through with somebody, um, opening up to somebody, uh, somebody helping you. Now, yes, this can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. You know, the Queen of Cups can be, can signify love, romance, relationships, but she's a compassionate energy. I'm definitely feeling this energy of someone is giving you the light. Someone gives you the light, the way forward, the solution, the help that you need. And it feels like when we talk about roots, it could be family. It could be family. Take it as you will. It's what I'm feeling. Um, to get you back to who you are. And again, the, the Nine of Cups it is a card. It feels for me a card of alignment. Aligning you to the path forward. To what is going to bring happiness, fulfillment, joy in once more. To your life. You know, this is a personal joy. This is a personal happiness. This is a personal contentment. Satisfaction, you know, as well. So it, it feels for me... It feels so, you're talking it through with somebody. Talking through some kind of burden. And they're helping you. They're showing you the way. They're helping showing you the way, the solution. Uh, bringing clarity to a situation. It feels very beautiful indeed. Because we have the Page of Cups and we have the Empress. Now the Empress... It, it can be a person in your life, you know, uh, generally a mother, generally a feminine energy, but, you know, it's a general reading. It can be a person in your life who is, you know, I mean, the Empress stands for um, the beauty of life and abundance and bountifulness, lacking for nothing. Uh, nurturing as well so I mean she's also a healing energy as well so <laughs> nurturing healing um, it's a card of, of planting new seeds time is right to plant new seeds for your future it feels like you've gone through some heavy burdens and somebody has been influential or will be influential in getting you back to who you are, reconnecting you with your core. It feels like your roots has a lot to do with it here. The Page of Cups, it can be in terms of love, an expression of love. To bring, it feels to bring new growth to a situation. To bring new promise to a situation, yeah. She's also about promise. Promise of something wonderful. The promise of something wonderful, but how you take action, how you sow those seeds is very much determined on the success. And it definitely feels the promise of something wonderful is here, and it's to do with this. It feels like some kind of message of, of love. I mean, the Page of Cups can be a message of love. It can be an apology, can be in terms of an expression. 
with the Ten of Cups, what I'm feeling is something has gone wrong in a relationship here where it's become so burdened um, and it's weighing you down. And I'm feeling, I'm seeing this Queen of Cups as somebody who is helping giving you the light. They give you the light. They give you the solution, the way forward on how to bring new promise back to, it feels to do with a relationship. And again, the Empress is about manifesting something new. She is all about creation and um, creating something new. And it can be in an existing relationship, a new phase, a new start by the actions that you take. And this is to do with expressions of love here. So I'm getting the energy here, Leo, of you have the ability to put a difficult situation behind you. Now, the Two of Wands is a card of some key choices. It can be a choice or a decision to make here in terms of how you move forward. Again, with this kind of expression of love, the promise of it feels like manifesting a new phase of a relationship here. There may be some clear choices. This can also be decisions on your future here. It can also be a card of progress, you know? Uh, can also be a card of the first signs of progress. And again, with the six of, six of Wands, it feels you will be able to put a difficult situation behind you. And again, the Ten of Cups is the blissful relationship. So again, it can well be the decisions that you make will ultimately restore this or making some decisions on how you move forward with the Ten of Cups. But nevertheless, the Six of Wands is generally an energy of, it's a card of Leo. Somebody has overcome a real challenge, obstacle, something that's got them down and felt burdened to the point where they have to talk to somebody, you know, because it feels, you know, to get back on track, you just need someone's opinion to help bring clarity to a situation. And what that's doing is helping you overcome a challenge and put it behind you and feel pretty good about it and again you see this this wreath here it looks very much like the world card here it feels like it feels like something you're, you're able to draw a line under a situation that has been challenging and again that this can be planning for your future again seeing the future in a situation we have you know with the Ten of Cups, which it feels for some of you to do with relationships, blissful relationships, happy ever after, rainbow of blessings. Again, that card kind of flew, uh, moved a bit. So we have the Five of Swords under that, which was conflict. So it can be some choice or decision in terms of something that has conflicted you or caused conflict in a relationship or conflict in a relationship that has caused challenge, weighing you down. There is an opportunity. It can also be intuitive messages, this. If it's not a message of love, it can be intuitive messages. Trusting your intuition in how you move forward, how you're going to plant new seeds here. And, and again, overcome the challenge that you face. And it feels like there's some kind of choice or decision that you make in order to get back on track. And it involves, it feels a long-term relationship. This is generally happy ever after, blissful relationships. So you either have an opportunity, Leo, it's a crossroads energy here, you know, the two of wands. So one path leads to resolving the issue, resolving the conflict, the message of love, manifesting a new phase of your life and, and getting back, getting back on track, finding that happiness, you know, that you once had, definitely getting that energy. But also for some of you, some of you are getting illumination and I think it's help from somebody in how you are going to get back to happiness. So it could well be also going your own way. You know, I'm going my own way. Um, and it feels like that's the choice that you have to make. It feels like at a crossroads, but something has become to the point where you need to deal with it. That's what happens when it gets to the Ten of Wands. It's got to a point where it's not something that you can carry anymore. The weight is too heavy and you need to deal with it in order to lighten the load. Either way, whatever decision or choice you make, the cards are saying that you are going to put this situation behind you and feel pretty good about it. So I really like the energy here, Leo, for that reason. 
I'm going to pull one more advice card. Final card for Leo. Final message for Leo, please, before we move to the fairy cards. Final message for Leo, thank you. Well, the message is, um, yeah, because I have the King of Swords, which is all about clarity. Um, so the message is that you will get perspective. You will be at that point where you'll understand what you want and what you don't want and make some key decision or choice about your future. But it, what it will do, I mean, it will allow you to put a situation behind you and feel pretty good about it. And, you know, the Empress, whichever direction you choose, Leo, she is the promise of something wonderful, abundant, um, nurturing. She is definitely the, the promise of growth, um, lacking for nothing, feeling, um, you know, that contentment, fulfillment, you know. It's definitely, it's a bountiful energy. So whichever way you choose, Leo, it feels like you're not going to choose wrong. You will get the clarity that you need, definitely with this King of Swords. Um, in order to move forward. So it feels very, very beautiful indeed. I'm gonna pull a final card. So the cards are saying, uh, choice, there are two paths. Yeah, it's just, yeah, I love the cards, the way they're falling out, Leo. They're really in sync, you know, confirming each other, integrating with each other. So we have abundance, prepare yourself for incoming abundance, release any mental blocks, you may have in fairy land and human land there is enough abundance for everybody the promise of abundance is coming your way and abundance is feeling bounty feeling fulfilled um feeling you know that there's no lack you know so either in moving and rebuilding and it feels in terms of uh, a long-term relationship or going your own way and it feels that there is some choice or decision that you make and it feels like somebody and i'm definitely getting this root energy your family is talking it through with a family member is helping bring clarity to a situation so i hope you enjoyed the reading leo i'm sorry about the phone um, I'll see you next time. Thank you.